is Flannery and we are going to make a sign for your front door. So first, you're just gonna want um, this hanging piece of wood. And so we decided to do something different. We are gonna unscrew this and bring it all the way over here so it hangs sideways instead. So I'm gonna do that really quick. And we're gonna put it right here. I actually made a dot so I can get it as even as I can. Yeah. And now before we paint, we're just gonna use some regular um, artist tape, but you can use masking tape as well. You just need anything that's gonna stick. And you're gonna wanna put it right in the middle. And you can take your time so you know it's right in the middle. You can kind of gauge where it needs to be. And then I'm going to tear the end. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it is pressed down really well because if it's not, your paint will bleed through. So you wanna make sure that's pressed down really, really well. And just for an added note, make sure there's no dust or anything on the wood because that'll make the paint kind of chunky and gross looking. I'm just using regular um, acrylic artist paint, um, but you can use any type of brand, even the cheap paint brand. Um, okay. And so now we're just gonna paint the bottom half white, but you can use any color you want, any color to match your door. And I'm just gonna put it right on there. And I'm probably gonna need more than that, but I'm just gonna start painting in strokes. You can even do two coats if you want. Um, just doing one coat, I can still kind of see the wood through it here and there. So if you want to fully cover the wood, then I would recommend doing two coats of the of whatever paint you're using. And if you don't want streaks at the very end, just go back and forth quickly. And then your weird directional streak should possibly be gone. It'll look better if you do a second coat. <clears throat> Okay, so we're gonna let this dry and then I'm going to do a second coat on my own and then I will show you guys how to do the vinyl on top. Okay, now that I've done the second coat and it is completely dry, one of the best parts is peeling this back. And you should have a pretty clean line if you put your tape down um, hard enough. And now what we're gonna do we have this vinyl, and it has two vinyls on the inside, and it's by Decorating Your Life. And we are going to take that out of the package really quick. Okay. Okay, first we're going to start with the Welcome you are slowly going to peel it corner to corner. You have to be really gentle and careful with these vinyls because they can peel up weird or, um, you know, you just have to be really careful with them. Peel it nicely, nicely like this. Then you are going to take it and put it right above the white line and you can take your time to make sure that it's really straight see, and centered. 
Now you can smooth it over with your hand, but now the most important part, you can get a squeegee, a popsicle stick, or um, like a credit card or something, and you are just going to squeegee the heck out of it. You have to make sure it's down really tough so it actually sticks when you peel it back. And this particular surface, the wood surface, um, the vinyl doesn't stick to it very well, so you have to really squeegee the heck out of it. <clears throat> And you're going to take some time on this one. It's, it should take more than 30 seconds. You should probably do it for a couple minutes, especially on a surface like wood. Make sure you get every single edge. And I'm just going back over the parts that I already went on just so it is extra stuck on there. <clears throat> and now we are slowly going to peel up from the edges and you can already see that this isn't quite stuck down yet. And that is because this is a really hard surface to stick a vinyl on. So with some of these vinyls, you kind of have to help it along a little bit because sometimes it'll peel on the edges. So you can actually put your finger down on the actual vinyl and just kind of help it along so it sticks the way it needs to stick. But take your time. You shouldn't do it quickly because you could ruin the vinyl. As you're peeling up, if you are peeling up more than one edge, just make sure you're watching both edges so the vinyl doesn't bend or rip. Okay, I now have the vinyl put down. If you're worried that it's gonna peel up again, you can always do a layer of Mod Podge over it, or before you put the vinyl on, you could put um, a layer of Mod Podge just to adhere it better. Um, it would be a better surface than the wood. So now, we are going to start the second. It says, to our home, and we are actually gonna put that directly under, just like this. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the welcome, except this surface with the paint is going to be a much easier surface for the um, vinyl to adhere to. Same thing, take your time. Okay. Okay, make sure it's even. Or if you don't want it even, that's fine too. We're going to get our squeegee or our credit card or our popsicle stick and we're going to do the same exact thing. Except like I said before, this painted surface is going to be a lot easier for the um, vinyl to stick to. <clears throat> Once you feel like you have squeegeed enough or scraped enough, you're going to do the exact same thing with the welcome but this one will be a lot easier. You can even continue to help it along, even if it isn't peeling, just to be safe. As you can see, this side is going a lot faster. You can even give it a little push if it's not coming up correctly, too and then you can help it along. So 
So now our vinyl is on, and this is my second time sticking a vinyl, and as you can see, it turned out pretty well. Super easy, super simple. Um, your vinyl is going to be outside or hanging on your front door and you have nasty weather. I suggest the Americana spray, which is a sealer and finisher. You can do a couple coats of that, and that will help the paint not chip, and it'll help the vinyl stick. And that is it. Thank you for watching, and happy crafting.